in the West, e-commerce is dominated by 1P platforms, first-party platforms. They have warehouses, they take on inventory, they play an incredibly direct role in the supply chain, and that's possible because number one, second day or even same day delivery is, is feasible in many developed economies. And two, the preponderance of brands and the consumer desire to buy from a handful of branded providers rather than a long tail of providers is significantly greater. Um, that translates into Amazon's business model, which is a 1P e-commerce leader, uh, certainly on a global basis, certainly in America. Asia is very different. If you look at the most valuable e-commerce company in Asia, it's Alibaba with a $240 billion market cap. And Alibaba is first and foremost a third-party business. Uh, tens of millions of merchants on the platform, all competing, all creating variety. And that is very much the Asian model of e-commerce. And we have a phrase for this inside of Greena. We call it Moore's Law for SKUs, Moore's Law for stock-keeping units. And no one really knows how many global SKUs there are in physical objects, shirts and watches and shoes and shower curtains and whatnot, but let's just arbitrarily say it's a certain number in the tens of millions. We see that number doubling over some period of time and doubling again and doubling again over the next 10 or 20 years. And that is going to hit Southeast Asia and South and East Asia in an enormously powerful way. And it'll happen less through traditional offline retailers and more through 20 to 30 million sellers on platforms, each of which are the curators of their own little museum of SKUs. Today, including Taiwan, we have two million registered sellers on our platform. That's an extraordinary number. The largest shopping mall we know of probably has several hundred, maybe a thousand merchants, approaching 10 million consumers as well. But that ratio is actually rather interesting. 10 million consumers versus 2 million merchants, that might defy conventional wisdom, but it speaks to the value of authenticity and, again, Moore's Law for SKUs. Consumers want lots and lots of different things. They don't just want the same shirt or the same iPhone.